What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video review today. We are gonna be doing a pretty cool video today because we have one of the new 2022 Jeep Compass Trailhawks right behind me in this beautiful diamond black. And I'm super excited to do this video because this is an affordable, very affordable car. And the direction that they've taken with it is absolutely impressive, very luxurious for this price range. I'm super impressed with the future Jeep is going with on their new SUVs. I really hope you guys stay tuned for this whole video because there are really cool features about this vehicle and uh, it might persuade you, especially the price range. So make sure you stay tuned and today is going to be an amazing video. Hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this vehicle, what you thought about the video and the vehicle. Subscribe to our channel because it helps support us to keep bringing out these videos for you guys. And uh, you know, we love bringing out these videos for you guys and hopefully they're helping some of you guys. Um, but further ado, let's get this video rocking guys. Let's go. We are now on the road, heading to our destination where we are gonna do the full interior and exterior tour of this beautiful 2022 Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Like I was saying in the beginning, I've been waiting and I've been super excited to do a video on this because to be honest, this might be one of the most impressive SUVs out there for its price. This car is around the $40,000, $44,000 um, Canadian dollar uh, price range and i can't wait to go through this entire car with you guys because i'm still blown away when i first saw these land on the lot they are they are quite impressive if you have seen older the 2021 version um compass trailhawk you would know what i mean the jeep took such a leap and a step in a new direction um modern clean classy um and then affordable offering their their clientele their amazing supportive customers the option to be able to buy into their their product for an, a, a more affordable price range and still feel happy with what they're driving because honestly this is one of the nicest suvs i've seen for this price range and i know a lot of you out there will have other opinions and uh please feel free free to share those opinions in our comment section i would love to hear um what cars you guys uh, uh i think are the the best cars for uh, th their price range you know we're talking the 40 to forty five thousand dollar price range today so yeah like i had I, I don't even know where to start with this car it is so beautiful the interior is just absolutely gorgeous it's blown me away we have the same kind of steering wheel that we have in all the new jeep grand cherokees the l and now the uh, the new jeep grand cherokee itself um and then very similar themes with uh with the uh the center console here and then guys we got a 10.1 inch screen in this car like that is crazy to me that is insane it's very sleek i love how they placed it i don't want to get too carried away here while we're on the road because i want to go through all this in just a moment here um but yeah like i am i'm completely blown away obviously you know you're this isn't if you're looking for speed or anything like that this is not the car for that this this is a trail rated suv um can provide you support and adventure and all trains and uh so we got the 2.4 liter four cylinder tiger shark engine under here it's 180 horsepower with a nine speed automatic transmission um which honestly is all you need for the city. This car is gonna do you great on gas. I earlier filled it up, it was pretty much empty. I put 91 in, like you don't need to put that in on a vehicle like this, but I put 91 in on all the cars and uh, we got just about a full tank on like $40 on 91. So I can only imagine if you put 85 in, 
Uh, you're probably getting a full tank on like 35 to $50. Um, and I'm, I'm still just so blown away by this cluster. Like I just love the full touch screen cluster. I love how like deep it dives in there. Kind of fits perfectly with the, uh, the steering wheel. And I'm a really big fan of how they switched up the steering wheel, with the amazing le uh, red leather stitching inside. It, it's just, it's such a cool, direction jeep is taking with all their suvs and i'm so excited that they're also taking that direction with their lower model suvs as well because you know sometimes those are the ones that get left out and um you know not everybody wants to spend 80 to 100 grand on an suv and well <laughs> you're getting luxury you're getting sport you're getting off-road you're getting all that for the 40 to forty-five thousand dollar price range which is absolutely sick to me and i love that a lot um and shout out foundation auto north vancouver for providing today's vehicle for this video we are uh we're currently heading up to the top here where we were going to do this full review of the interior and the exterior um of this beautiful 2022 jeep compass trailhawk so stay tuned with me guys uh, just drive honestly it's so nice like i normally cut this to cut the video right here because this is the ugly part of the the drive up to the roof but this car is so comfortable and just so small and nimble like it's actually really enjoyable to take these turns in it just feels like really responsive very tight and like obviously it's a smaller car so it's going to handle a little bit more tight but like yeah guys like this is i'm super excited to do a video on this uh on this vehicle like i honestly if i was looking to buy a vehicle this would be something I would highly consider. I mean, you got a select train for, for, um, uh, system in here. So, you know, you got your snow, rock, sand, mud, and then your uh, sport and auto. Or no, we don't have sport. Sorry, that's my bad. But um, yeah, like you're pretty much gonna go for quite a few adventures in this vehicle. Obviously it's not a V6 or V8. So I wouldn't push your limits too much, but like don't underestimate Jeep and what they uh, are capable of doing with uh, their select train uh, uh, systems and their vehicles. We actually have this, this, these compasses are actually a little bit lifted um, as well. And uh, I think it's about an eight inch lift. Don't quote me on it. If you still want to, you guys, uh, look at that beautiful backup camera. As you hear there, that's the um, the car telling you, you're backing up, this thing might, things might be in the way, but look how sick it looks with the 10 inch screen. It's absolutely gorgeous. Throw it back and drive here and um yeah like i don't want to get too carried away i want to get this video rolling we're going to put this in park i'm going to take my seatbelt off we're going to roll a little b-roll right after i'm done here and then uh grab your popcorn sit down relax hope you're all having an amazing week an amazing day so uh grateful for all the support you guys show us on our channel liking commenting subscribing some of you guys have shared some really cool stories uh, personal stories and I love I love reading them and uh, responding to you guys and uh, Well without further ado guys, let's just get this video started because there's a lot to talk about and uh, I'm rambling off now So <laughs> let's get going We're just gonna get started now with the uh, the interior. I know we've already gone over some of the features, but we're gonna go through everything uh, like we always do, and then we'll show you the uh, the outside of the end, some looks at the engine, and uh, an overall uh, thought about this vehicle. And um, I'd love to hear your guys' overall thoughts as well. Don't hesitate to comment down below. Any feedback, um, any uh, feedback is positive feedback, and uh, I'm always grateful for your guys' support. Like I said, I'm not a I'm not really a car expert. Um, I try and learn the best I can about these vehicles as well as like I, I do love cars It is a hobby of mine uh, So I want to give an honest review on a lot of these vehicles I'm on a, a geeks like some of these uh, amazing guys who do car reviews on uh, YouTube like take my hat off to some of these guys They are so entertaining because of the amount of knowledge that is stuffed in their brain But we will get there one day. So one one day at a time one video at a time with me guys Let's uh, let's get the uh, phone on silent and uh, let's get rolling here. So like I was saying in the beginning, this steering wheel is the exact same kind of design steering wheel that we have in our Cherokee L's um, and our new Grand Cherokees. And I'm so happy they put it in this 
SUV. Like, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys might have not seen what a 2021 Jeep Compass uh, Trailhawk looks like or a 2020 version, but just go look at a picture and then come back and watch this video because honestly, this is night and day. And for that, like I said, 40 to $45,000 price range Canadian, like that is just dirt cheap to me for what you're getting out of this vehicle. We got Alpine sound system all throughout this vehicle. Absolutely bangs, we got a subwoofer in the trunk and uh, just this amazing like carbon looking style leather just throughout the whole vehicle here. I love how they put the uh, start stop a button just right in here very similar to like the grand wagoneer design the cherokee l's and the grand cherokees like this is the new design jeep is going with on their suvs and man it is a pretty good start for 2022 this is a good start we are heading in the right direction jeep is continually wanting to stay number one as the, the best and most selling suv in canada and um well they they aren't disappointing i mean just look at this gorgeous like silver chrome uh, mixed in with this high gloss black just like flowing throughout the whole vehicle we got chrome around our 10 inch display screen more high gloss black all in the door paneling just absolutely gorgeous we got the matte kind of chrome and the steering wheel just everything is always tying itself together um i love that a lot this is that select train system like i was telling you digital display very easy to change you just click this now we're in snow mode you're going to see there in the cluster it's going to show a little uh, jeep compass in the snow and uh, get you all locked up and ready we got our sand and then we got uh the rock um but we're just gonna go um we're gonna go hang down in auto because that's all we need to do right now we got our four-wheel drive lock and four-wheel drive low buttons just down here we've got our parking brake right here very easy i think you just pull it like that and as you heard there it's activated locked in our shifter right here pretty decent shifter feels nice in your hand nice leather with this uh chrome just wrapped in it as well very nice touching it all down here as well we've got a usb and usb c port just down here a little bit of a storage uh, console down here i don't believe this is uh yeah i don't believe this is wireless charging but it is uh deep enough and nice enough uh storage nevertheless um so that's pretty cool we got our our buttons here which are really nice and this nice like rubber they don't feel cheap they they got that nice uh chrome with the high gloss black uh in the inside of it which is nice our climate control buttons our volume button mute and then you can uh, you know turn your screen on and off right there and then onto this like one the one thing that really just stands out on this vehicle is this 10 inch display screen like come on like that i mean i, I mean i don't think the actual screen is 10 inches uh maybe someone comment down below um obviously the frame looks like it looks pretty big um and then the screen kind of cuts in a little bit would have been cool if they filled the whole screen but you know one step at a time one year at a time they still did an amazing job with this vehicle very nice vents um not cheaply done very nice get a nice airflow through them as well you just you switch these guys over like that to uh moderate your airflow um yeah very nice on our uh touch screen here you got all your pages very similar to our cherokee l's and Cher grand cherokees you got your home very easy to just make that the whole navigation screen which is super cool click that again we've got our, our media options bluetooth sirius xm fm all that jazz usb um our comfort we got heated ste seats heated steering wheel and the passenger has a heated seat as well which is uh which is awesome we got our navigation like i just showed you our phone uh settings to hook up the phone which is uh very easily very easily done you just pair it there uh, to your bluetooth everybody knows how to do that our rear view camera take a look at it one more time gorgeous uh clarity which is uh super nice especially with this big screen like you're really not gonna have any issues backing up into anything our uh, our apps um management over here and uh just like that uh we got our start stop like uh so when you pull up to a light or something you might notice your jeep turn off you can just uh if you don't want to that saves gas sometimes it can also have a negative effect on the engine but uh don't quote me on that uh, but if you want to turn that off the remote stop start you can just uh click it like that and that's done we got our traction control lane assist hazards uh more parking assist and, and all that jazz all the all the fancy little buttons on your steering wheel as well to set your cruise controls answer your phone calls very easy um 
and uh, obviously voice activated so that's nice our uh, volume controls and uh, more buttons behind the steering wheel which uh, which is nice the vehicle is very simple it's not over the top like I said you're it's not your eight typical eighty ninety thousand dollar SUV they've kept it simple kept it nice and classy I like how they've kept it minimalistic they didn't try and go over the top they tied in everything very well got nice leather up here it's not that cheap stuff uh, gorgeous cluster like I was saying in the beginning um, got all your settings you can just cycle through here I love these clusters look at that you can see all road conditions and that all that stuff just right in there our tire pressures and then obviously our um, speedometer and you you in this vehicle you can set driver profiles which is super nice so you know maybe you want to have a driver profile for yourself and then maybe a driver profile for your girlfriend for your family member whatever it may be and just up here you'll see the time uh, you'll get your notifications that's where you do your uh, driver profile the one thing i love about uh this uh to screen here is it comes with the valet mode i've mentioned that in other videos i love valet mode just in case you want you know your son wants to take the vehicle out for a day or your daughter and you put it into valet mode it's actually going to protect the vehicle from being able to be uh rat bagged or used in the wrong way or maybe they think they can go off-roading in your brand new 2022 jeep compass trail lock that you've been waiting for and then they go scratch it up, mess it up. You can put everything to valet mode and restricts the vehicle. And then you can add your uh, driver profiles and edit them as well, which I love that a lot. I think that's really cool, very clean. Um, and yeah, we've got our little center console storage over here. Deep, pretty deep. Uh, I don't think there's any plugins in down here. Doesn't seem like it, but uh, pretty deep uh, storage. You can fit quite a few things in there. I don't think we have a top one on this guy. You can pull forward just like that. Have more uh, elbow. Uh, room right there for your uh, for your elbow if you want to just rest it um very comfortable to drive this vehicle we got the uh memory or not memory seats but we got the remote seats as well so uh we can go up and down and we got the uh the the lower back rest as well which is very nice um these are the keys right here pretty straightforward very simple sim similar to all the other jeep keys um nothing uh, over the top one thing that i do love about a lot of vehicles it's a personal preference for me is the sunroof and we got the full sunroof all the way back to that uh that second row which is super nice and to control that it's very very easy just just like that's gonna open up the the actual uh glass look at that you get quite like it's pretty much the whole roof which is actually kind of crazy to me um that is really cool in the summer this car is a probably a blast to close it we pull that down very quiet simple we've got our little net at the front there closes up and then if we just pull this button down here we're going to close the screen so you know maybe at night or if it's raining really hard whatever it may be you don't want to see uh the roof or the outside of the top you can just close the screen keep it a lot more private and uh just kind of fits in very nicely just like that and you wouldn't even know um i personally love to leave these things open because why well, have it if you uh if you have it closed that's my, my uh kind of take on it but um yeah so if you press it once it's going to open up halfway and it's going to be pretty much remind you like hey do you want to open up all the way and then we'll be like hell yeah we want that thing open all the way so we can see everything um more of our uh our light controls right here boom our trunk you press that opens up the trunk um garage controls a little mirror to make sure your makeup looks good i would have personally preferred this in black the fabric but i mean you can order it i'm pretty sure like that if you wanted to keep everything black um but nevertheless it's still very nice i do like the fabric doesn't look cheap or tacky um does flow in and and, and kind of come together with everything uh very nicely which uh which is awesome we're gonna open up the door here we got a chrome style door handle right here with the high gloss black going around it which is uh very nice our window controls i love these buttons they're like the thick um plastic which is very nice one touch open that up just like that and then you can control the same thing in the back we got our mirror controls just right here just like that which is super cool very nice if we open this up you can see that alpine sound system like i was mentioning uh before we got our headlight and tail light uh, lights here with the floodlight as well and to uh, move and adjust the steering wheel is just this uh clip right here we're gonna step out of the vehicle because we've 
kind of gone through a lot of uh, things here in the, the driver and passenger seat. We're gonna go to the back here and take a look at this beautiful 2022 Jeep, Jeep, <laughs> sorry, not Jeep Grand Cherokee, but this is the 2022 Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Um, just amazing view into the uh, inside of the cabin here. Just an amazing, very impressive car for this price. Like all weather mats. I love these all weather mats. A little dirty already because it is uh, a little dirty outside. But uh, yeah, like I said, those uh, controls for the seats, pretty nice seats. We've got leather throughout all of them with our amazing trail lock in red here and the red stitching, which you'll see throughout the whole vehicle, as you see here in the steering wheel, all that jazz. We've got this fabric in the, uh, in the seat here as well, which is actually decent uh, fabric. It's nice. Um, I do like the pattern of it. Kind of looks very um, cool and off-road kind of vibe, like a little bit of like a mamba skin look, uh, which I love a lot. Um, yeah, just an amazing uh, look here into the into the uh, front of the cabin. Just like it's so this car actually blows me away for uh, the direction they've taken it. I know to some of you guys maybe it, it's not that cool, but to me this is pretty freaking cool. Um, I like this stuff a lot. Like when cars take an amazing leap in a positive direction, kind of like how Honda and some of these other vehicles have done with cheaper vehicles, but making them look a lot more expensive and luxurious and, and just giving you a lot more bang for your buck. So you're not overspending if you, if you can't drop the, you know, the kind of money that you, uh, you'd want to on a nicer vehicle. You can buy something like this and feel perfectly satisfied and, and happy. Like this would be more than enough. Uh, for me, I know that like this is a gorgeous vehicle designed very nice with all these gorgeous textures just throughout the whole vehicle I just think they did such an amazing job with this the styling and all the texture and, and material throughout this whole vehicle That red like I mentioned just everywhere in the stitching just to remind you that this is the Trailhawk and uh, Yeah, like honestly a big fan of these seats. I do love the uh, the, the the mesh and the material like I said and um, The leather the the mixture together is really nice um and i'm a big fan of it got our alpine sound system like i mentioned um more of that red stitching in the door paneling some cup holders uh and storage and all the uh, controls right there as we open up into the back just an amazing view into the back here of the cabin and uh we're gonna move my camera gear in a minute we're gonna step into the back take a look at the uh the size and uh how it all uh kind of fits and feels back here uh, similar door paneling, obviously, uh, that high gloss black with the chrome and our nice red stitching throughout the leather. Those uh, Alpine sound systems right there. We're going to move all this jazz into the passenger seat so it's out the way. Wah! Just like that. It's a little dirty outside, but we're going to get in, so screw it. Wow, I'm actually really impressed at the space back here. I was actually kind of worried because I had the seat all the way for uh, all the way back because I'm just about six one so you know I needed some leg room in this vehicle today and I was a little bit worried I'm like you know what it's gonna probably look a little tight back there feel but but honestly this is not bad like I am chilling right now this is perfect amount of space considering how far back I have this the driver's seat and the seats are really comfortable back here like this is a very nice vehicle I just can't express that enough just the amazing full sunroof, just super impressive all around for its price range too. We got a USB and USB-C port right there as well. Our 12 volt DC plugins, 115 volt AC, 150 watt plugin down there as well. Our storage behind the seats here, very nice padding on the inside. We got our Trailhawk, uh, if you can see there on the camera, Trailhawk in the, I'll show you there in a sec. Uh, and the labeling, which is super nice. Very comfortable if we even move into the middle here, get an amazing look onto the front of the cabin just I'm, I'm, I'm honestly just blown away with the design and how modern and how clean and classy and luxurious they've taken this vehicle like i said compared to other models they've really stepped this up like <laughs> i don't even know the words to describe how much they've stepped it up they have uh they've really proven that they you know they can run this game these guys uh, Jeep is is the best when it comes to SUVs. I am a huge Jeep SUV fan. If I was buying an SUV, it would be a Trackhawk with my eyes closed. I wouldn't even think about it. Um, you know, there's a lot of nice uh, SUVs and cars out there, and um, 
we actually had a uh, spoiler alert because we have the G 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit and uh, we will be doing a video on that one very soon so stay tuned make sure you hit those bell notification buttons because that's going to notify you when that video comes out and i saw it today my jaw dropped that vehicle is so clean so gorgeous just so sleek like the body everything about it the interior just wait till you guys see that car but right now for the 2022 jeep compass trailhawk this is like insane to me like this is crazy how um how beautiful and gorgeous they've uh, taken this vehicle and I, I honestly love it a lot i know some of you guys might be annoyed with how much i'm boasting these guys but honestly there's no I, i'm not being biased or anything like that i generally just think this is such a clean looking uh, suv for its price range and uh if you move over here we can pull this down we've got the cup holders just like that very nice very simple um tons of space amazing look onto the uh the driver's seat there we'll open this up so we can get out and take a look at the uh the exteriors as well as the uh, trunk here not a big vehicle look how tight and small this thing is absolutely gorgeous in this diamond black i love the modern uh tail lights as well as the headlights you'll see that in a second we got our trail lock trail hawk logo right here uh, mopar does a great job with that just kind of tied in right there i'm going to remove this demo plate for a second here so we can just go over some features take a look into the trunk tons of trunk space like i said for a vehicle that's this size like just take a look at this one more time for a vehicle that is this size tons of space inside and in the in the first row and the second row and now even in the trunk like this is a lot of space our subwoofer right there um we can pull this carpet up and i'm assuming yep there's our spare tire chilling in there we'll close that Keep that from falling you can even put these seats down if you want more space our button to uh, uh, close the trunk right there and uh, all that all that jazz very simple very clean um, not a lot of flaws about this vehicle there are a few and i'm going to point them out mainly on the exterior of the body a little confused with what jeep was uh doing there but um one of them is this right here it's not active it's just a design like a plastic i'm not really sure what their thought was for it um I, I, maybe it's easier to clean when it gets dirty could have just been a cool flat piece uh or even just like some chrome whatever just to i don't know this it's it doesn't really make sense to me but that's all good uh it doesn't ruin the car it doesn't make the decision like oh i'm not gonna get this but it, uh, it is an interesting design and i would love to know the reasoning for it we got our tow uh hitch right here or uh, onto the frame so that you can uh tow and I don't believe we have an actual uh, trailer hitch or anything like that for this vehicle, but we do have the tow hook right there. So that is uh, that is good. Obviously it's a trail hawk, you're gonna get that. Um, but yeah, that was really the one thing on the back here that just didn't make sense is that little uh, graded uh, back row right there. But nevertheless, go a little bird joining the video today. We're gonna close this up, put this together, boom, boom. This is how I uh, <laughs> this is how I put the demo plate on, guys. If you ever wondered, nothing crazy. But our foundation uh, plate cover right here. Shout out Foundation Auto North Vancouver, FoundationNorthVan.com, and our phone number is right there: 604-980-8501. We have four or five of these 2022 Jeep Grand, uh, Jeep Compass Trailhawks. I keep wanting to say Grand Cherokee because I got it on my mind. But we got four or five of these right now on the lot. We've got this one in the diamond black and a few other colors: white and uh, I believe gray and a few other colors so uh if you're interested in one of these vehicles they're gonna go quick so make sure you call us email us contact us so we can get you guys onto a test drive get you uh, situated and uh so you can uh you know get, get a little closer to that that, that uh, decision that you want to make on buying a new vehicle use this uh video as a um opportunity to see this vehicle before coming in person just so that you uh, have a little more clarity understanding of the features and uh, all that stuff as you can see right here we got our trail rated uh emblem stamped on four by four just so you know our uh our um mirrors right here with the turning signal lights which are nice we do have the blind spot detection as well and a little uh, jeep logo uh right there just to remind you that uh this is a jeep we got our compass uh logo just right here in this gorgeous kind of like matte gray um with the the red on the outline to remind you that it is the trailhawk which i love a lot we got the uh you can press this right here and that will lock the vehicle if you have the key in your pocket which i do thank god otherwise we would be locked out and it, i would be freezing and you guys wouldn't even be able to see this video that would really suck 
And then just an amazing look onto the front of the vehicle here. You can just see how compact this SUV is. I love it all, especially in the diamond black. I love the rims and tires with the two different tones of uh, the gray here. As you can see, got our Jeep in the middle there with like a different gray here and a different gray there. Tying into like the mirrors um, and then a little bit of few of the other uh, grays that are doing the darker and the lighter in the front. Just thinking about all the things coming together. We got that fan just extra loud. Like I said, trail rated. This is the compass with the red. They let you know it's a trail hawk. And as you can see right here, I love how they fit this trail hawk um, uh, sticker onto the top of the uh, the hood here. I think it's very, very sleek and very clean looking. It doesn't look too tacky. Um, uh, but the one thing you know I want to mention, like we were just talking about in the back. I know it's a little bit loud right now, so hopefully you can hear me. But let's uh, you know what? Let's actually just turn the car off for a second here. So we can uh, we can go over this here. We'll turn it on one more time. Get a nice little compass look in there. Maybe we didn't show that before. Get that fan off so we can just talk a little bit here. All right. So I know I was talking about this on the back. I'm going to talk about it very uh, briefly here. I don't want to roast Jeep or, or turn any of you guys off because honestly, there's a lot of pros about this vehicle than there are cons. But this grill in the front, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments. I don't know if I want to share mine. I, all I can really say is I'm not a big fan of it. I think it looks kind of cheap and tacky. Uh, it could have been real active grill or something a little bit less cheap looking. This middle part here just looks really weird to me, like the design. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, maybe they'll change this in the future. I'd love to know what you guys think about this comment down below because uh yeah they, i really am curious to know what some of you guys think we do have our active grills over here obviously and down here our tow hooks as well and then our uh foundation uh license plate cover just here we got the jeep coming out of the uh the hood just kind of right there 3d which is nice our floodlights and then our uh, jeep performance led lights uh these are great at night they work really well i love them a lot just another amazing look onto the uh the front of the vehicle here and just from the side just see how compact and tight this car is i'm a very big fan of this car you can see the lift like i was saying let's pop the hood just so we can see that uh did you pull that boom yeah so this is that 2.4 liter four cylinder type tiger shark engine they're actually pretty nice i drove a car once upon a time a dodge dart and uh it had that exact engine and it was kind of fun um so it, it, it honestly is enough power, 180 horsepower. Uh, obviously not a giant V8 or anything, but it's still pretty sleek. Uh, it works pretty well. Not gonna have too many issues. Great on gas, uh, depending on how, how obviously you drive it. But uh, yeah, that's the engine bay. Would have been cool if they put the, the hood on hydraulics or whatever, so it, was, uh, it could go up. And uh, so I'm gonna show you guys one little cool feature here. I'm sure you didn't notice it before. But we got like a little lizard iguana thing crawling out of the Jeep right here. That is so cool. I love how they did that. Um, that is really, really cool. You can see him just kind of just kind of chill in there. What's up, buddy? Um, very cool. Kind of like the uh, the Ram TRX. They got the TRX eating the Raptor. Uh, now we got the little uh, iguana lizard crawling up the, uh, the side of the 2022 Compass Trailhawk. Uh, that is really cool. And we got our little old school Jeep driving up the uh, the window. Love it a lot. Jeep does all these cool little Easter eggs and I love it. Just adds a little more fun and excitement to their community and to their vehicle. And I think that's important to build in a culture. Close that just like that. I wonder if we can actually see the little lizard. There he is. What's up, buddy? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for supporting our channel. Uh, subscribing allowing us to continue to bring these videos out for you these tours uh, for you guys hopefully they're helping um, giving you a little more insight onto some of the vehicles out there and some of the fleet that we have like I said if you're interested please contact us down at Foundation Auto North Vancouver we'd love to help you out um, make sure you hit that like button helps us with the algorithm and comment down below what you think of this video your feedback what you think of this vehicle uh, some of the weird things about the vehicle and all the cool things about it as well um, I love to always hear you guys' feedback. Make sure you stay tuned for the next few videos coming out. They're going to be pretty sick. We got some uh, new 2022 Jeep uh, SUVs out on the market. And uh, so, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Hit that like, comment down below, subscribe. You know the full, uh, full thing. Um, just one more look at this beautiful 
Jeep 2022 Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.